peace, blessings, and light. Zaina Wayvon here from I Say Creations, and I'm here today to talk to you guys about the new fragrance oils that we offer in our online shop. We've had our Etsy shop open for a little bit more than a year now, so it's safe to say that we are um, within our Etsy anniversary. And so, a way for us to commemorate that is to just start offering new things. And one of those new things are fragrance or natural or body oils, um, whatever you choose to call them. I just like to call them fragrance oils because, you know, that's pretty much unbiased. It goes for men and women. And we do have scents that are unisex, and then we have some scents that are more for men and some that are more for women. And I'll talk to you about that. But just to give you a little bit of information on fragrance oils, um, they are so much better than colognes and perfumes. Colognes and perfumes are um, diluted and chemically written fragrance oils. That's what they are. The designers will take um, a, a fragrance oil, take that as a base, and add water or alcohol or other chemicals to stretch that fragrance oil. And what happens when they do that is when you apply that concoction that they created to your skin, it reacts with your chemical makeup. And over time, uh, within a few hours after you put it on, the scent from that expensive perfume or cologne that you purchased, that scent will disappear. It will no longer be with you. And the next thing you know, you'll have to go spray some more. And then four or five hours later, you have to spray some more. And that's how those designers make their money. They know that um, whatever they're putting in that fragrance, they know that it's going to react with your body's chemistry. They know that the scent is going to leave. They know that you're going to like the scent. They know that you're going to spray more on it. And they know that your bottle is going to get empty. And you're going to want to buy another $150 bottle. So fragrance oils are better because, first of all, you don't have to spend $150 on a tiny bottle of fragrance oil of fragrance oil and also it will last you for a very very long time i literally have some fragrance oils before i started selling them i have some fragrance oils that i purchased probably i want to say almost three years ago and i have not used the entire bottle the bottle is probably about that big the oil is so thick and so potent that it, it doesn't take a lot. Like you literally have to put a dab here, a dab here, maybe a dab here, maybe a dab there. And throughout the day that fragrance oil just stays with you. And it continuously releases its aroma because it's reacting positively with your body chemistry. Unlike how um, perfumes and colognes react negatively with your body chemistry. Um, so our fragrance oils, they, we do not um, dilute them from our supplier. We get them from the supplier, we bottle them, um, we label them, and we send them straight to you. So you do not have to worry about fragrance oils that are diluted or cut with other cutting oils. You will find that some oil distributors do do that. I'm not going to knock them. I'm not going to knock their hustle. You know, it's what they do. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but when you do have an oil that has been cut or diluted, then the scent doesn't last as long, and the oil is a, a bit thinner. Um, you'll know that your fragrance oil is top notch because it should be sort of thick. I have um, an Egyptian Musk fragrance oil here. Um, which one? Oh, I picked it up. Okay, this is it. And it is extremely thick. Um, almost the consistency of maybe uh, watered down honey. You know, it's very thick, and that's how you know that it's a very, very good oil. Now, some of the other oils that we have are not that thick, but they are still, you know, thick. And again, we do not dilute them. So, um, you know, just to sum that up, I don't want to ramble too long. I want to go ahead and get into the fragrance oils. Fragrance oils are better than um, perfumes and colognes. They, the scent lasts longer. You do not have to spend as much money on it, and there are no chemicals that will harm your body. So if you're one of those people that's trying to go natural, like I'm doing, you know, just be more natural, live a more natural and healthy lifestyle, then fragrance oils are the, are the way um, you should be going. So, so let me talk the about 10 premier scents that we have are frankincense and myrrh. We have gardenia. Frankincense, frankincense and myrrh is a unisex scent. Gardenia, I would say, is more for a female. We have out, which I would say is more for male. We have lavender, which can be unisex, but I like the way it smells on a female. And we have sweet patchouli, which is definitely unisex, but I like the way it smells on a female. We have nag champa, which is unisex, but will probably be better on a male. We have amber, which is unisex. Um, it smells great on both. We have sandalwood. Actually, it's Arabian sandalwood. When you purchase, um, the label will probably just say sandalwood. Um, I made a mistake there. I didn't put Arabian, but this is definitely Arabian sandalwood, and this is my favorite um, type of sandalwood, and it's a unisex scent as 
well. We have Egyptian musk, which is a unisex scent, and we have jasmine, which I think smells awesome. Oh my goodness, I just love the way that smells. It smells awesome on a female. And then in addition to our 10 premier fragrances, we also have a gift that we were sent, which is Cocorico. And this one is very strong. Um, it's for a male. It's, it smells like something that a guy would put on after he shaves. You know, it's definitely a male scent, a masculine scent. So um, all of these oils are available. In addition to a lot of the traditional fragrance oils, we also have um, designer type fragrance oils. Now designer type fragrance oils means that you are not getting um, exactly what you're going to get in that expensive bottle that you buy from the store, from the designer. What you're getting is the fragrance oil that um, that perfume or cologne was made from, or you're getting a fragrance oil that a fragrance designer designed to smell just like that expensive perfume or cologne. So um, many of them are spot on, and you can wear it and no one would um, notice the difference, but I like to be completely honest when I'm selling things. Some of them might be a tad bit off, and because it is created to smell as, as close as possible to that designer cologne or perfume, sometimes they're not all the way there. So um, majority of them, they do smell exactly like it or so close to it that you won't be able to tell the difference. And I mean, hey, if you just want to test it out, you can buy one of the small $5 bottles, and if you don't like it, hey, it was it was only $5, so still you're coming out a lot cheaper than how much you would pay um, at a department store for it. So the list that we have here... $5 if you purchase it in person. It comes in a glass spiral um, bottle. It's really pretty. And also, you won't see it here because I haven't filled this one up with oil, but there is a um, round roll-on, a white roll-on enclosure so that when you're applying this one, you just literally roll it onto your skin. So we have that one. We have this size here, which is a half an ounce, and this is $10. There's no roll-on. You just pour it onto your finger and dab it. And then we have our largest size, which is one full ounce, and this goes for $20, and it's in a very pretty glass shape, uh, glass diamond cut shaped bottle. And then this one is also open. There's no roll on, so you would just pour and dab. And as it kind of looks like this one is smaller than this one, but that's only because this um, $10 bottle is rounded out and it's flat, so the liquid has a lot more room to expand. So this one's actually bigger than this one, even though it really doesn't look like it. So um, if you decide to purchase online, you'll notice that the prices are probably a dollar to two dollars more than the prices I've mentioned here, and that's only because we do have seller fees that we have to cover um, for the online shop. So that's the only reason why it's a little bit higher. Um, if you purchase in person, five, ten, twenty dollars, and that's very, very affordable. I have some bottles about this size here that I purchased from a great oil distributor probably about three years ago, and they are not empty yet, and they still smell great. I would say even over time, they smell a little bit better. I don't know why, but every time I open the bottle, it's just like, oof. So um, a bottle this size will last you, it will last me for nearly three years, okay? So that's a lot less expensive than buying um, one of those designer colognes or uh, perfumes. And so these fragrance oils do react with your body's chemistry, and because each person has a different body chemistry, the best way to apply fragrance oils is on your pulse points. Your pulse points are the inner portion of both of your wrists and also both sides of your neck. So you would just take your fragrance oil, pour a little bit out, or if you have a roll-on bottle, just roll it on to the inner part of your wrist, of each wrist, and then put some here on the side of your neck. You can put it at the base. You can put it at the top right underneath the jawline, or you can put it directly in the middle and then apply some to the other side, and that should last you all day. You know, if you want to reapply, you know, just to get that skin again, I would say just put a small dab right there on your inner wrist and just rub it together and, you know, let it air out and you're good to go. Um, you can also put the fragrance oils directly on your clothing. Sometimes after I put it onto my wrist, I'll have a little bit 
it left over on my finger, and so I'll just do something like this, you know. I'll just kind of like put it on my clothes, put it on my skirt, like that. Whatever is left over, not too much, just whatever is left over from after you put it on your wrist and your neck. And that scent will stay on your clothing until you actually wash your clothing. And in most cases, it will stay on your body until you wash it off. For some people, because, you know, we do have different body chemistries, for some people, it might last for half of the day. You know, it might not last a full 24 hours. Um, like I said, everybody has different body chemistry, so that's the reason for that. But you can al always just reapply just a small dab, but it lasts a very, very, very long time. And then another thing you can do with the fragrance oils, if you have any type of um, shampoo or any type of body butter or lotion or anything that you use that doesn't that doesn't have a scent or doesn't have a very strong scent, you can just put a little, literally, okay, because I don't want you to put too much, literally a drop or two into your shampoo, into your conditioner, into your lotion or whatever you put onto your body, and that um, that will the scent will infuse into whatever. Um, whatever that uh, uh, butter or oil or whatever it might be, and the scent will infuse into that. And when you apply it to your body, every time you apply it, you, you will smell that scent. So those are the different ways that you can apply